Welcome back to part two of the 0 0.6.706 uh, patch update. Uh, in this one, we're actually going to go through the uh, tech tree in a little bit more detail using my Bay One account. So let's get logged in here. So I've got 20 tech points in the top there. So let's see what I've actually got available and what I can actually unlock. So based on this it's anything that's adjacent to an existing unlocked cube and what can i make the most use out of i could get an l2 smg i've already unlocked the l2 armor cube from um, prior to this patch so let's make use of that and go straight for the do i want the l3 tetras or do i want better wheels um hmm, good question uh these are actually relatively low level so that should give me an indicator of other stuff that i can unlock so let's get rail cannon l1 and that then opens up the next one so i'm not required to unlock uh, the radar receiver there so I can then unlock this one and I then have access to Railcan L2 radar receiver or uh, radar jammer uh, if I go to my inventory I should actually have some Railcan L2s already uh, from a previous promo code based on this these changes it opens up some interesting options in terms of ways you can can progress through the various tiers so by following the rail cannon path you actually unlock uh, the l3 jammers and from l3 jammers if you get up to l5 you can go straight to l4 st wheels instead of going through the actual wheel uh, progression tree instead so that does give you some slightly different options or different paths in which you can progress to get up to higher tiered content and the same goes for the armor uh, the armor is actually going to be a little bit confusing to people in terms of trying to actually unlock everything of a given color uh, but it is going to mean that you'll end up with probably a much wider spread of colors in terms of in, instead of concentrating on a particular set so for one instance you've got the pinks here it's actually going to be quite a path to go and unlock all of those pinks and i can see people having a problem in with unlocking the blue tetra because it's pretty much out there away from everything else where on the armor tree uh, you go down to the smgs you've got the top mounts and the front mounts they actually seem to be relatively interspersed so you're not going to be able to progress through the tree without unlocking some of both uh, with the hover blades um, that's a pretty linear progression uh, the same for the thrusters there uh, helium tanks they haven't actually added in the additional helium tanks but we'll see those opening up on the tree um, oh sorry i would expect to see those opening up on the tree down this section uh, you've got the plasma launchers again that's a relatively linear progression in contrast to the uh, armor and the lasers there and so let's go up here radar receivers have their own linear progression rail cannons do uh, so yeah for most other content it's going to be pretty linear it's not really going to change how you actually go through and unlock stuff but for armor and for wheels to a degree as well it's going to certainly change up how people progress in the game if you'd like to subscribe please click subscribe in the top right corner or you can join us on teamspeak at teamspeakclan.co.uk that's the website you will need to visit to get the ip address uh, but yeah, I will see you in the next video, which hopefully that'll be sometime soon. Um, yeah, that's a really dumb statement. Goodbye.